it is fair to say that designer Isaac Mizrahi is a true renaissance man. Not only is he one of the biggest names in fashion, he's also conquered TV, comedy, singing, social media, and now podcast. In fact, he's got a brand new podcast. It's called Hello, Isaac. <laughs> so we like to say, hello, Isaac. Hi. How are you? Hi. H-I, hello, Isaac. Hello, See, Isaac. Oh, that works. See so what I'm saying? So coming up with a premise for a podcast is some, sometimes tricky because I feel like most of the ideas yeah. are out there and taken, but I love your premise. Oh, right. Well, you know, I am not a, I thought we would just talk to people and yeah. it would be really fun. But then the people producing it were like, oh, yeah, we need something. So I thought about the thought of failure. I thought, like, why don't we talk about my favorite subject, <laughs> failure. No, seriously, because I do think that there is a lot to learn from failure. And I feel like everyone goes through it and they there's a stigma around it. And I feel like we have to encourage it. And I'm not the only person to think this thought. But I think I am one of the few people to have yeah. a podcast about, you know, to talk to people about. Because you think a lot of the people you interview are infallible, like they've done right. no, no, and nothing's ever gone wrong. Right. They've always made it. And that's what they want to talk about. So, like, if you say you want to talk about failure, a lot of times you have to kind of Trojan horse it into yeah, the conversation. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, was there a time in your life where you did not succeed? Yeah. Let's put it that mm -hmm. way. And it taught you something and it brought you somewhere. Yeah. And everybody just goes on. They love yeah. to, you know what I mean? They really love to kind of expound upon it. Because I think lessons, you know, lessons are a big part mm -hmm. of yeah. success. So you ask two questions to every guest. And your guests are incredible, by the way. Yeah. Andy Cohen. Right. Um, okay. Jesse Tyler Jesse, Ferguson yes, is, is we coming can up. Belinda Carlisle. Belinda Carlisle. Are these all Gabby friends? Gabby Sidibe, huh? Are yes, these, they're, these are friends. all people I know. Yes. Uh -huh. And so now you're my friends. And I'm going to get you Good. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. In. Okay, so you asked two questions. So we're going to flip it sure. and ask oh, okay. you these questions. Uh -oh, what the are first one is the biggest <laughs> failure, right? What has oh. been your biggest failure and what have you learned from it? Well, I would say that that was when my doors were shut down in my couturier in 1998. Yeah. And it was devastating. And I thought I would never come back from it, but I did. I came back from it and it really, I kind of gathered my head and I thought maybe I should do a different kind of fashion and maybe I should pursue my first love, which is... Music. Performing. performing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Acting, you're a performer. performing. Yeah. Being you know, crazy when, and but gay. When they, and <laughs> which you are the best. The best. <laughs> crazy, gay, and fun. <laughs> so, so when they did shut down your line, yeah. did you have self-doubt? Did you say, maybe I wasn't really meant for this? You think? I don't maybe know. just a little Hoda Some, copy? Come on. <laughs> what do you think? I was devastated. But, you're, I was but you devastated. knew you were good because you had yeah. a line. So That's what right. And shut a it down? Yeah. Yeah. And you were very fancy. For a very long time. And it, but it does, it does set you back. I mean, yeah. what if Someone said, okay, we're shutting the show down. Yeah. What would you do? You're going to go crazy, but well. you would learn some <laughs> stuff, right? I would. Did you ever have a failure that you learned a from? A ton. Seriously? Yeah, I, could, yeah, I couldn't Jenna? get hired. I mean, I was on the cover of People magazine for drinking <gasps> underage. Boom! You know what I mean? Well, that's but so punk will... rock. Why didn't that happen to me? I think I'm going to go on a drinking spree after this. That's so what I'm You have to have a dad that's president. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't right. really Otherwise work. Don't care. That Otherwise, that's it true. don't care. All right, so the second question, <laughs> yeah. which which is an important <laughs> one is what's your second question you ask every guest about obituaries. oh about obituaries yeah. right. what is your obituary <laughs> I would think that I because I'm obsessed with obituaries that's the first thing do I you do read them in oh the paper? darling I wake up I go to my front door I get the New York Times the paper you version. get the yes. paper version I do yeah, you know for you. because it's easier to find the obituaries than the paper <laughs> version what, really, so what do you really do you I'm switch? not kidding what are you I do seeking? and I Why go right you, to the, what are you looking first for? of all. You know, I just want to see if any of the people I know have died. Because <laughs> I want to make sure to send flowers in a note. Okay, next. <laughs> and then also, I just find it so fabulous. It's like this oh, like this great story about a person's well, life, yeah. you know. And I guess what it meant. Now, of course, my obituary would say something like... He was a Renaissance man. Or, I hate the phrase Renaissance. He did a lot a of savant. stuff really did well. What about savant? <laughs> yeah. a savant. Okay, I like that. And then he was, what would we say before? Crazy, gay, and fun. Yeah, that would that be the headline. That would be good. Yes, I think you know, so. They always say that people have two things. Someone wrote this. There's the resume you and the eulogy you. Right. It's like the resume you is the thing that you're scrapping for every day, but the eulogy you is the thing that matters. What right. are they going to say at the end? Right. Yeah. And the thing that I fear is that, you know, if I die tomorrow, 
Ugh, you know, <laughs> it's like I need to get a few more things in there yeah. that they yeah. can add in my resume or in my actually my eulogy yeah. or my obituary. Yeah. Um, okay, we also have to talk about your TikToks. We oh, are like okay. Fancy. You've introduced yourself to like all of the young people they on know our staff. You are. And <laughs> there's something about a garbage hole uh, in your garbage wait, hole. In your By kitchen. the way, can we just let's look at it before okay, you because we sure. want to see right. what you got go going on. Go let's on, see. go on, go on. Like I always wanted like a garbage hole in the island. But I just wanted the hole. I didn't want this mess because this, it's like if you're going to slide things off into here, like if you're going to slide food into the garbage hole, which is kind of what I want to do, it's going to get stuck in all the crevices here, right? I just wanted a hole that was sanded, but this got misunderstood. It's okay, all right? It's fine. I live with that. Barely. Barely. Wait, that garbage hole had 10 million views. I know, I know. What I know. is it by about the way, the if hole? I die tomorrow, that is going to be my obituary. <laughs> Why are people he obsessed? had a garbage hole, okay? Why are people obsessed with that? I don't oh. know. I, because I guess it's me being yeah. very, very, very persnickety. You know, like, <laughs> oh, he got the garbage hole, and then it's not the right garbage hole. You know? oh, there's a lid on the garbage <laughs> because hole. Because there is a right and a wrong but, uh, garbage hole. Uh, okay? I will say, Having a lid will probably keep the smell down. And no, the lid is fine. It's just that there's a. Oh, no, you did like the thing like around. No, no, the, no, the lid. The rim. Oh God, you got a rim. Hoda Kotb is looking at me. I, like, I love how you call her. Me too. We just call her okay. Hoda like Madonna. Okay. You know? oh, okay.